Hello and welcome to the Zillia ZM1 iPad Driver Usage Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use the Zillia ZM1 microphone with an iPad device. Remember that only iPads with Apple Silicon CPUs support ZM1 microphone. The first step is to download the Zillia ZM1 application. You can find the link on our website or just search for Zillia in Apple App Store. After downloading the Zillia ZM1 application from the App Store, just open the app. Now click the Open Settings button. You will be redirected to the Settings application, where you can enable the ZM1 driver. The microphone LEDs should turn blue after completing this step. If you want, you can change the LED brightness and master gain in the Zillia ZM1. Now you are ready to start recording. You can record in any application that supports multi-channel recording or that supports 19 simultaneous recordings from different audio channels. We recommend using Zelia Studio for iPad because of its straightforward workflow and ability to directly record 19 channels WAV files without converting or merging. To start recordings, simply connect ZM1 to the device and click the red button. Click the share button to export the recordings or connect your iPad to a computer and download the files directly. In GarageBand, you can create 19 instances of audio recorders and assign different ZM1 channels to different instances. To record at the same time with all channels, enable the multi-track recording function from advanced settings. Now you can just click record. After the recording is complete, you can export the GarageBand project to your computer. In the main view of the application, tap and hold the session and click Share and then Project. You can use, for example, AirDrop to send the project to your computer. The audio files made with ZM1 will be in the media folder inside the project. To use them with Zillia Ambisonics Converter or Zillia Studio Pro, you need to merge them into one 19-channel file using, for example, Audacity. In Cubasys 3, you can use a similar approach. Just create 19 audio tracks and assign appropriate ZM1 channels to tracks. You can do it in the routing section. After that, you only need to arm the tracks and start recording. Like in GarageBand, you can export the whole project via AirDrop to your computer and then merge all audio files into one 19-channel file. We hope you will enjoy working with ZM1 with iPad. If you have any problems or questions, don't hesitate to contact us.